My channel is called D for Darius. I cover filmmaking tips and advice. I also do vlogs, short films, and feature films. And I also share information that's taken me years to learn. Hopefully I can share some lessons and save them some time by talking about these things on my channel in a candid way. For the first year, I only grew from zero to like 5,000 subscribers. And then once I learned how YouTube actually works and how to get found organically, then the growth really started happening. And that next year I went from 5,000 to 25,000. And then after that it was to past 100. The moment when I decided to make a consulting business out of what I was doing on YouTube, that was like a very, very strange journey for me. Originally, I had all the ambitions of becoming like a big Hollywood director, which I still do. I still enjoy making films. But I think the more I learned about YouTube and the potential that it has for earning revenue, that's kind of like what really motivated me to say, hey, well, while I'm trying to do this other thing, like why don't I maximize what I actually have right here on the platform? Ideally, you would wanna have some kind of business plan before you start YouTube so that you can incorporate that through the entire time with all of your videos. You kind of plant all those seeds really, really early on. So 100 videos down the road, you've already set up a foundation of this is the service that I offer. So when you get your first subscriber, then maybe start thinking about how else am I gonna monetize what I'm doing? Because I know a lot of people when they start, they don't think that far, they just start making content. So I decided to do consulting because I love giving feedback to filmmakers and also other YouTubers. I didn't have a website yet at the time, so I just started a landing page. Usually somebody will go to that landing page, they'll schedule a session through a portal. From there, once we've got appointment set up, I'll do a Google Hangout session with them. It's usually an hour long, sometimes it goes a little over. I usually record these sessions for a couple of reasons. One, you just need to like quality assess yourself. And then two, I also record them to give to my clients. So they don't have to take notes on paper the, the entire time, they can just have the actual screen recording. So when I'm marketing the service to my subscribers and my followers, what I usually do is I tailor the value proposition to whatever I'm talking about in that particular video. So for instance, if I'm talking about scripts or how to make your scripts better, then at the end of that, I'll pitch if you're looking for feedback for your scripts, then you know you can click a link below. I started really, really small. I offered one service specifically, and that was short film feedback. But then the more I did consulting, I realized about 80% of the people who uh, sign up for sessions with me are other YouTubers. So I, I pivoted and I added uh, YouTube consultations and channel evaluations. And if I'm talking about YouTube, then I'll pitch the value that I give for a YouTube consultation. I think it's really important to find a balance on YouTube. Yes, you've gotta be committed to creating the content, but you really gotta find the balance between finding ways to make what you're doing sustainable. So about 50% of your time should be making content on YouTube and the other 50% should be building out your business. I am still finding that balance for myself, but it's one of those things where you just gotta keep planting the seeds and after a while those seeds kinda of germinate. I got my first repeat customer, I wanna say three months into it. Six months into it, I had about five repeat customers and then it just started scaling from there. But it takes a lot of experimentation. It doesn't just happen to you. You have to actually go find the knowledge and you've gotta educate yourself. So if you're thinking about starting a business on YouTube, stop thinking about it and just jump in, start small, scale up and be fearless.